Okay, so for today, we're going to discuss random variable. So what is meant by random variable? A random variable is a variable whose value is unknown and is determined by chance. Or a function that assigns values to each of an experiment's outcomes. It is typically denoted by a capital letter, usually x. So when we say random variable, it is a variable whose value depends on the outcome of an experiment and is determined by chance, meaning it will happen randomly or without any preparation. Ibig sabihin nun, ang bawat value na makukuha natin ay depende sa kung ano ang mga posible na lumabas sa isang experiment. At depende rin kung ano yung target random variable natin. Or kung ano yung pinili nating random variable. Okay, so for example, we have a given experiment. Say, tossing a coin twice or tossing two coins. So, kung ang experiment natin ay mag-toast tayo ng coin, say, dalawa yung ito-toast nating coins, ano yung posibleng maging outcome? Pwedeng, ang lumabas, pagka nag-toast tayo ng coin, ay head, or pwede ring tail. Okay? So, dito sa given experiment na to, pwede tayong pumili ng ating magiging random variable. Say for example, ang pinili natin is number of heads. So number of heads as our random variable. So para makuha natin yung mga values natin dito sa ating random variable x, first kailangan natin ng outcomes. Okay? So pagka nag-toast tayo ng isang coin followed by another coin, Ano yung isang posibleng lumabas? Pwedeng tail, tail. Or sa unang coin, pag tinose natin, ang lumabas ay tail. Then sa pangalawang coin, nung tinose natin, tail pa rin yung lumabas. So we have an outcome, tail, tail. So kung ang random variable natin ay number of heads, ano yung magiging value natin dito? So first outcome, zero. Tama. Ha? Bakit zero? Dahil walang head na lumabas. Okay, kung ang outcome naman natin ay tail, head. Ibig sabihin, sa unang coin, tail. Then sa pangalawang coin, head. Ano yung magiging value natin dito? Okay, so 1. Kasi isang head lang yung lumabas. What if ang outcome natin ay head, tail? Sa unang coin, head. At sa pangalawa, tail naman. So, ang value natin dito is 1. At kung ang outcome natin ay head, head, or sa unang toes ng coin, head yung lumabas, then sa pangalawang coin, head pa rin yung lumabas. So, ano magiging value natin dito? 2. Bakit 2? Kasi nga, dalawang heads yung naging outcome natin. Okay, so given the same experiment as tossing a coin twice or tossing two coins, we can also choose number of tails as our random variable. Again, para malaman natin ang mga values for the number of tails, kailangan natin ng outcomes. Okay. Kung ang first outcome natin ay tail, tail, what will be our value knowing that we choose the number of tails? Okay, so of course, our value is 2. Dahil ang lumabas ay parehong tail or dalawang tails ang outcome natin. Next outcome, tail head. So, what will be our value? 1. Kasi, meron tayong isang tail na lumabas. Next. Outcome is head 
octal. So, ang value pa rin natin dito ay 1. Kasi, meron pa rin isang tail na lumabas. At kung ang outcome natin ay head, head, of course, our random variable is number of tails, ang magiging value natin dito ay 0. Dahil, walang tail na lumabas. Now, let's have another statistical experiments and the random variables that can be associated to them. The first one, is rolling a pair of dice. As we all know, a single die has six faces. And its face has a corresponding number of dots. Where one has the lowest and six has the highest number of dots. So the number of dots starts from numbers one to six. So, what is the random variable that can be associated to this statistical experiment, which is rolling a pair of dice? It can be the number of even numbers that appear in the pair of dice. Because from numbers 1 to 6, there are even numbers. And there are also odd numbers. Okay, another statistical experiment that we can cite is the COVID-19 vaccination. And what could be the random variable that can be associated to this one? It could be the number of male or female who will be vaccinated so among those persons who will undergo vaccination ilan kayang mga lalaki or pwedeng ilang mga babae ang mababakunahan or it can also be the number of senior citizens who will be vaccinated Ilang mga senior citizens ang magbabakunahan.